We're at the Palmdale Sheriff Station where there's a growing memorial for the deputy who was shot and killed. The family of his suspected killer speaking out about his years of apparent mental health issues. My brother's getting, he's getting called a coward. He wasn't in his right state of mind. Video shows the moments 29-year-old Kevin Salazar was taken into custody Monday morning at his family's home in Palmdale following an hours-long standoff with law enforcement and a manhunt that began Saturday night. Sheriff's Deputy Ryan Klinkenbrumer, a 30-year-old field training officer whose father and grandfather were both deputies, was shot while sitting in his patrol car near the station at Sierra Highway and Avenue Q. He later died at the hospital. Thanks to tips from the public, authorities were able to track down Salazar and the older model Toyota Corolla they believe he was driving, seen in surveillance footage. My brother did have schizophrenia. He had paranoia. The family of the alleged shooter claims the suspect has been suffering from mental illness. If I had to go to your family and tell them that you were not coming home and you were just murdered, does it matter what the person was thinking or their condition? We're not justifying it. We don't know if he did, if he did not. We are not justifying anything. We feel for the family. It hurts. It hurts. Nobody wishes to go through that. The suspected shooter and that vehicle located at the home about three miles from the sheriff station and the scene of the crime. I want Ryan's killer to be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law, and I'm really happy to hear that the DA is committed to upholding the law on the books. You have my word that I will not rest until that happens. How he was able to obtain a gun still part of the ongoing investigation. Salazar is expected to appear in court for his arraignment Wednesday. Reporting from Palmdale, I'm Mario Ramirez, Fox 11 News.